Hello and welcome to a new series by Fail Race. This uh, time we're going to be looking into one of the most popular PC racing sims ever created. We're going to be looking at R Factor. And we're going to be doing various mods, um, mods for tracks and cars we're going to be reviewing uh, that people have recommended for us to review. The first uh, episode we're going to be reviewing the DRM mod from as you can see, the DRM modding team. And this consists of cars, uh, the BMW M1 is one of the cars, you can see there's a, there's a few designs here, another BMW, the 320 Turbo, and these are all just modified versions of the road cars, um, the Ford Capri Turbo, which just looks insane, it's the Batmobile as far as I'm concerned, it looks really good, um, another few designs there, quite a lot of designs for all of the cars which I find quite good, uh, Lancia Beta Turbo, um, Again, lots of designs, the traditional Martini Racing, probably the most famous one, and the Porsche 935 Turbo. Again, a few more designs, and this one's also got the uh, Martini Porsche racing scheme. So, we're going to be starting off by doing a review of the BMW M1. So, now it's any more weight, let's get going. Now, as we uh, start the car up, you can see that the interior is uh, somewhat basic. Um, but at the same time, very, uh, very nice as well. I like it. All the, all the uh, gauges you can see on the screen, uh, they work as far as I can tell with the temperature and everything else. Um, yeah, a nice interior. Very basic, but at the same time, very nicely done as well. Um, as you can see, coming out of the pit, it's not the uh, easiest car to drive. Um, probably the hardest car to drive in this mod, um, out of all cars. But if you get it right, it is rewarding, especially a car this difficult to uh, drive. When you get it right, you know you, you do feel quite happy getting it right. As you can see it's very, very slippy sliding. This is on cold tyres, but on warm tyres it handles slightly less. Uh, it is uh, slightly more stable. As you can tell by the movement of the uh, of the steering wheel, how much it's moving. I am racing with a controller. Um, and I am racing also with the standard setup, so I'm not sure. It might change depending on uh, depending on setup and uh, whether you're racing with a wheel or a Fnatic or something like that. But the moment with the controller, it is a very hard car to drive. But for the sound, it's worth it. It is the best sounding car in this mod. Now we're going to the Lancia Beta Turbo next with the uh, traditional Martini racing car. Um, these, uh, this is a very different car to the uh, BMW M1 and uh, we're going to see how it handles out on track. You can immediately see much more basic interior, a lot more basic interior. Um, so it's got the uh, red light for the rev counter. Um, the gauges again, they do work and this is for all the cars, all the gauges you see on screen do work which is a, a nice feature. Um, this immediately when I uh, took this car out on the cold uh, on cold tyres, it didn't. It wasn't as leery as the BMW. You can still, as you see, big lock up there. But it doesn't lock up, and uh, it's not as aggressive as the uh, BMW. It's much more. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to drive, as you can see going on the grass there. Um, it's not easy to drive, but it's easier than the BMW. So for longer distance races, this probably would be an alternative, but still, you can get it wrong, as you can see there. The graphics on this car, the detailing is very good for our factor. Um, I'm going to do loads of camera angles for it. These are really good, really generally styled cars, and I really, really like this mod. It's probably one of the best mods I've ever driven, um, but this car... A lot more stable than the BMW, but still hard to drive. Now for the second BMW, the uh, BMW 320 Turbo. Um, as you can see, this is uh, quite different looking. But it would be. It's still got ridiculously big wings and stuff like that. But uh, with a shorter wheelbase, let's see how it handles on the track. See, just showing the showing you the interior there. Uh, again, another red light for the uh, rev counter. Also, the dials will work, as I've said before. I'll say it again, just to uh, be annoying. Um, dials will work. 
Interior, probably the same uh, detailing as all the other cars you'll see. I like the metal plating on the uh, dash, that's quite a good little feature. Um, straight away it handles more like the uh, M1, which I was surprised that. It's very aggressive and very leery. You do have to uh, be extremely careful with this car, you can see like the wheels all over the place. It is quick though, along the straight this is one of the quickest accelerating cars in this mod. Not the quickest, but one of the quickest. And the, uh, obviously the spit of flames, that again, that's win all cars, again nice little touch that the uh, makers have done. Right, now the uh, Ford Capri Turbo is the uh, next one with the Ford Sash Sporting. I don't know whether I've uh, said that right, but um, let's see how this one handles. Now straight away you can see this is probably the most detailed interior of uh, any of the cars. So I'm just revving the nuts off it. Um, I really like this interior. This is probably one of my favourite interiors for any saloon uh, style racing car. You can see it's got what looks like the original, or what would have been the original Capri wheel. It's just been stripped of everything it doesn't need. Um, this car sounds amazing. With the, you know, you can hear the uh, burble of the exhaust. It's really good sounding. Um, you can see on the speedo, it is ridiculously quick, like all the other cars. And when I looked at it, I thought this was going to be a really, really hard car to drive. But in terms of comparison to the to all the other cars in this mod, this is by far the easiest car to drive. Um, I've done a, uh, I did a 40-minute race with the BMW and also the Ford Capri, and it, the Ford is so much easier to drive on over long distances. It is the best car that you can have. You can see it gets a little bit leery there, but all in all, it is the uh, is the nicest car to drive. But like with all the other cars, you can still get it a bit wrong. Now for the last car in this mod, the Porsche 935 Turbo. Um, these are all uh, race versions of the uh, standard road cars. So as you can see, the 911 shape is still there. Um, let's see how this one handles. Right, as we can see, basic Porsche 911 interior. Um, not much to look at, but the car. This is um, one of the in most interesting handling cars that I found. It's a very it's never quite where you want it as far as I this is with the standard setup um, again I might add but it one uh, you know if you go in a tad too quick there's a lot of understeer if you go in a tad too early and put the power down just a just a little bit too early there's lots of understeer uh, lots of oversteer sorry as you can see there was a big build up of understeer there um, this is the quickest accelerating car in uh, this mod as you can see again up to 160 on the straight of Brands Hatch. It is really quick this car. Through the higher speed corners it's not as bad to drive. Uh, it's very stable through high speed corners. Not as stable as the Ford but still stable. Much more stable than the, uh, both of the BMWs. But this is uh, an interesting car to drive. With maybe tweaking of the setup it may be different I'm not sure but obviously uh, with this review I haven't got time to change all the setups. But Overall, this is one of the best mods I've ever driven. Um, all the cars are really well detailed. There's nice little features in that most other mods don't have. So overall, it's a really, really good mod. I suggest you download it. Um, I, down I download it from uh, Race to Play. I'll put that in the description. So you can uh, go there and download it. Um, but thanks for watching. And uh, please comment. Uh, any mods or tracks or uh, cars or anything that you want us to do a review on the R Factor. Uh, remember to subscribe. And uh, yeah, until next time, goodbye.